Um, do you guys even get your E2 checked if no AIs or side effects? PRT and hormone optimization channel. I was on the channel before, so I've been following the channel, watching it every now and then. So be sure to check them out. Consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and you'll be on your way. I don't. I don't know the last time I checked it. Years, years ago. And that was just for kicks. Um, Do you check if it's raining in Italy to know if to wear an umbrella in Belgium? <laughs> It's not relevant to what's going on in my body. Well, again, this is something that I think guys still have the hard time believing. The, the, and, and maybe it's just because we're the few that are talking about the intracrine paracrine nature of estradiol, right? That that serum level is not telling you what's going on in your brain versus your bone versus your penis versus your heart. It's meaningless. It really is. I can understand if it's low when you're tanked, then you're, yeah, you're probably low. Not necessarily if you don't have symptoms from it. If I uh, suspect it's too low, I may test it, but I don't yeah. test it because it's high it's never high it can't be high it's self regulated yeah, it, it moves with testosterone to a point and then it plateaus off and why check it when i'm not going to do anything about it that's a rule in medicine period why don't check something if it's not going to change what you do mm -hmm. so um why would i check e2 i mean for the most part if i'm never going to give somebody a aromatase inhibitor i'm not worried about the estradiol that they're making from their testosterone i'm just mm -hmm. not for everyone watching this that, uh, who doesn't know what we're talking about, about not using AIs on TRT, watch the extensive multiple videos we did on them. So I will link to them uh, here.